Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. You can do that by the little red square just there. There's a subscribe button underneath the video or the link in the description. Also, while you're at it, could you give us a like? Well, as you probably have worked out by a couple of my videos, I can't stand debt collectors, namely Lowell Financial, Cabot and all the others. I think they're a bunch of crooks and they need exterminating. I was doing a bit of research this morning about consumer law and how they can get away with doing what they're doing. And I came across a really, really amusing video, which made me laugh out loud. There's a guy on uh, YouTube called Alan Daly, and he's got a channel called Alan Daly Debt Collectors. Go and give him a, give him a look. He's uh, quite good. And on there, he's got a, a series of videos where he's actually picked up the phone, which I don't recommend, by the way, and spoken to the debt collectors directly and got a load of debts written off. It's hilarious. I'll show you one now. Uh, it's about six minutes long, but it's of a telephone conversation he's had with uh, Lowell Portfolio about an account they bought from Sky. And then I'll show you the legislation which he's talking about to get it written off. Check this out. from another party without my consent. So what about my data protection? You don't need my data, you don't need my data birth. I've dealt with you a few times before. And I've, I've, I've wrote accounts off for clients and also myself as well. So you, you, can, do it, you can do it without the data birth. myself with you before Why because that? because you're one big mistake see on your letters we are low portfolio limited we buy accounts from various organizations and work with customers to arrange repayment of their standing debt so these buy accounts mm -hmm. you're a third party who buys a, 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 do you know the bills of exchange act 1882 actually agreeing to pay a third party or two different things. Now, do you know the 1882 Bills of Exchange Act? A third party, it clearly says in there, if a third party buys a debt, the debt is extinguished. It's your, you've paid Sky for this account. It's now your debt. I never asked you to pay it for me. I, don't, I, have, I have no business with you. We don't have a contract. We don't have an agreement. Also under, on, also under the same Act, the Bills of Exchange Act, Section 23, it stated signature is essential to liability. No person is liable as drawer, endorser or acceptor of a bill who hasn't signed it as such. You don't have my signature. I have no business with your company. Hello? Okay, sir. No, uh, and as there's no, and as there's, no, and as there's no contract or agreement between us, I've, I've no business with you or your company. I would advise that you cease on sending me letters or I will open up, I will open up a harassment claim and I will report you to the FCA and the Financial Ombudsman to continue to contact me regarding these accounts. Okay, sir. Then relation to the accounts, obviously contact would not stop. So there is a in your... Well, you, 
you're just uh-huh. you're just going to get yourself into boring. You're a third party. We have no contract. You have bought the date. Check the 1882 1882 Bills of Exchange Act, Section 23. The debt's extinguished. You've paid for it. It's your debt. It's not my debt. You've paid for that. You've bought that from Sky. Sky have got their money for that, and you're trying to extort money for yourself out of me. That's also fraud as well. That comes under the Fraud Act, 2006. You're trying to extort money out of me when I've no contract with you. I've no agreement with you. I don't even know who you are. Well, I know who you. I know your company is. But we've never, we've never, I've, I've not got any business with your company. You have bought an account from one of your clients. That is now your account. You've paid for it. Okay, I've no contract with you, and I've no agreement. So we've no, I've no, I've no business with your company. If you want to keep sending me letters, that's fine. The more you give me, the more evidence it is. Because I'm going to report you. I'm going to report you for harassment, and I'll report you to the Financial Conduct Authority and the Ombudsman. Okay. You know, so if you take this, if you go and take this up with a manager and tell him who I am, your manager will know who I am. My manager will know who you are personally. No, not personally. But I've dealt with him before, and it's him that it's him that sent me the letters saying the account has now been closed because you can't prove your claim. You can't prove your, you can't prove your, you're making a claim against me that I owe you money. Prove it. Because you bought an account from Sky that says I owe you money. Well, that's, that's what you're saying. Yes? Yes, so you're making a, you're making a claim, I owe you money. I owe your company money. Why? Because you bought an account from Sky. I owe you money for that. So you're, so you're, so you're looking, so you're, so, right, okay, so let's, let's keep it simple. So you're looking for me to reimburse you for paying Sky. Is that what you're saying? But that's, but that's what you're doing. You're wanting me to reimburse your company for the money you've gave Sky. We have no contract and I have no agreement with your company, so I have no business with your company and I will report you. Okay, sir. So... Now go and speak to your manager. If, 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 if you want to go and put them on, that's fine. You know, sir, I am. Uh, okay, sir. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I loved every second of that. He took their butt and handed it to them on a plate, a silver platter. The poor bloke on the phone, man in the customer service desk, didn't know where to put himself, did he? Absolutely brilliant. You see, the, the whole point of the situation is someone like Lowell purchases a debt from a company. Any contract you had is with the original company not with LOL, you've got no business with them at all and they have to have a signature of yours on a piece of paper showing there's a contract between you and them so then they can then come after the come after you and there isn't one so they don't have a leg to stand on now the piece of legislation that the guy in the video mentioned was the uh, bills of exchange act 1882 section 23 specifically check this out now I've pulled it up on the computer here, you can see Bills of Exchange Act 1882 and you get it at this website here, it's it's the government website where you can find all legislation. But let's scroll down to here, I hope you can see this alright but I'll read it out for you. Section 23, signature essential for liability. No person is liable as drawer, endorser or acceptor of a bill who has not signed it as such, provided that when a person signs a bill in a trade or assumed name, he is liable thereon as if he had signed it in his own name. The signature of the name of a firm is equivalent to the signature by the person so signing of the names of all persons liable as partners in that firm. The long and short of it is, if there's no contract uh, between you and that third-party debt collector 
they're up a gum tree. They're just trading and relying on people's ignorance and extorting money. It's as simple as that. Uh, as I said, check the guy's channel out. He's brilliant. Uh, he's Glaswegian. You can understand him. Uh, and he's, he just really goes goes for the jugular. It's hilarious. Made my day that video and I wanted to share it with you. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, thanks again for dropping by. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll be by again with other tidbits when I find them. See ya.